Hi, welcome to Time to Craft. I'm Sylvia. Today what we're going to do is put a printout of a picture onto a canvas with Mod Podge. Um, so what we need is any size canvas that you want, the printout of your picture, uh, Mod Podge, and a brush to put it on. So what I'm going to do is one of my son, and here's the picture. Him and this is dog. And if there's any words, I don't know if you can see, he's got a tattoo with words on there. So we need to get the flip side of it. So I flipped it so that when I look at the picture, the words are backwards. So that when we put it on, um, after we take this off, we'll see the words the right side. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I have an eight by 10, and I just printed the picture out on um, my inkjet printer. So we have the canvas, we get the Mod Podge, um, and you want to make sure you have a nice even coat all across here. Uh, do the edges too, just in case the picture comes off of the edge. And you can do this in any size you want, any size picture you have. Just cover the whole canvas with the Mod Podge. You want to get it an even layer. You don't want it more clumpy in one side than the other. And this one has stuff in it. it. has some little glitter I can see on the, coming on the canvas. I'm gonna have to take that off because we don't want that in the picture. And pull this off. Just take this off here. Mod Podge has a little glitter in there. Oops, more is coming out. Okay, well, we'll just have to take that off later too. I wonder if it's my brush. Get a new, new out of like that brush. Okay, we'll use this one. Must have been my brush that was dirty because now I'm not seeing it. This edge. Now let me smooth it out. Looks like we've got a nice even coating. I don't know if you can see 
it. See the shade on there? So it's on there. Now, that side, get your picture. Make sure it's the one that's flipped. So that would be this one. And now we want to put it on there. Let's see. I want to make sure I got most of his head. So we'll just start it over there. And when you put it on, you want to make sure there's no, um, no wrinkles in the page. And you don't want to get any of the Mod Podge on the top of the page either. Um, and since it's a canvas, I'm just going to, you know, it's got the opening here. I'm going to put something under here. Just grab a book, whatever fits underneath. That way you can push a little better on the picture, on the paper to make sure it's all in there. Try to get it as smooth as you can. Otherwise it kind of shows little wrinkles in the, in the picture and the canvas when um, the paper is pulled off. Now this, it needs to sit overnight, so you know, for about 24 hours, so that it can get um, on there really good. So I'm gonna set it aside, and I put one yesterday. Let's see. So here it is. There's still some wrinkles, but there it is. So let me put this one aside and grab the one that I did yesterday. We don't need the book. Okay, so this is another one. Same son, same dog. It's his new puppy. He calls it his son. So what we're gonna do is wet this with a sponge. Let me get a towel down here. Put that aside. Okay. So I don't get everything all wet. So get your sponge nice and wet, and then you're just gonna go over it. You wanna get the top paper nice and wet. And see, you can start to see it. And on here, I had to flip the page also because he had a hat with the NFL on it, so had to print it backwards. And then his shirt had some writing on it as well. So I flipped the page. So, make sure it's nice and soaked so it can peel off. Gently um, rub it off. And it does come off lighter. It just probably works better with um, a black and white photo. That way the colors um, you know, are black and white. This way it kind of reminds me of a vintage pi picture. I can't speak, picture. A vintage picture. So you just keep you keep rubbing it off, wetting it more and more. And 
on here, you can see on the canvas where um, the paper was a little um, wrinkled or bubbled up or something. Oops, that down. Rub it with your hands if you want. Just try not to scrape the paper or scrape the canvas. she got it really wet the paper comes off pretty easy dry a little more and then I'll pull off more paper because I don't want to take off all the colors. And then here you go. And then I did another one. This one, um, see it had more wrinkles and I scraped a little too hard and some, some of it came off over here. But this was, he said it was his first family photo <laughs> with the, the baby dog. Um, so that's all there is to it. There you go. See, the gray looks better than like the trees, but it looks vintagey to me. So that's an easy one to do. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like. Um, have any questions? Leave them in the comments. If you want to be notified next time I have post a video, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.